going to jump over to Andrew McRae. Andrew works uh, at VT Skater by Trihedral. So Andrew, you're going to talk to us today a little bit about um, PLC alarming versus alarming in the SCADA system and, and give us a little bit of your thoughts on that. Yep. So here I have a port tag set up with the Rockwell driver under it. Details of that aren't particularly important, but what we have under that is uh, an alarm, sorry, an analog tag. We're reading in a value from a PLC that we have in-house here and another IO tag, which is controlling the value in that PLC. And I'm just writing out a sine wave. You can see the history of that information right in the middle of the screen there. And underneath this read IO tag, I have four PLC alarm tags, which are part of the same alarm block for a high, a high, high, a low, and a low, low alarm. So these were just reading digital values, whether the alarm is on or off in the PLC based on the logic that's um, being taken care of in that PLC. None of this alarm logic is being handled in VT SCADA. And I'll show you uh, what the configuration of this, one of these tags looks like. We're hooked up to the driver where we have selected that we're using an Allen Bradley SIP PLC. I've selected the alarm type to be a low, low alarm, and I provided the alarm block. The addressing in that PLC comes sort of pre-canned, and we're just tapping into those predetermined addresses for the alarm status, whether it's on or off, uh, acknowledged, disabled, or shelled, and some configuration as well. Uh, so I've drawn these four alarms on the screen here with the various um, configuration widgets. So I can set, for example, the high, high alarm set point, priority, dead end, or delay. And I can do that on the fly. But note that when I make these changes, I may be controlling it from VT SCADA, but all the information is being really set up in the PLC and the alarms are being determined in the PLC. So again, even if I disable here, I'm issuing a control action from here, but it's the PLC address which is determining that the alarm is disabled and we're reading that back to show that we no longer have this alarm. This is all uh, tapping right into our built-in alarm management system. So we can see what the status uh, of the alarm is, whether it's acknowledged, whether it's turned on. And again, we can perform status uh, updates to the alarms here. So if I write an acknowledge, I've acknowledged that alarm. The ACK bit in the PLC uh, turns on and we read that back so we know that uh, the, the PLC alarm tag has been acknowledged. So yeah, just driving home that this is uh, really control of a third or of the PLC uh, itself from VT SCADA, where we're truly reading that information back in. Um, and that's, I think, mostly all that I have to say about it. That's great. That's uh, uh, at a couple of different trade shows. I've had people buttonhole me asking me about how we support, or in general, the difference between uh, you know supporting alarms in the SCADA system or supporting them in the PLC. And I didn't have a great answer, and now I think I have a much better answer. Yeah, that's great. Thanks very much. And Andrew, so yeah, you're not just demoing this. You actually wrote a lot of the code that actually <laughs> baked true. this into VT SCADA. Yeah, that's right. right. Which yeah, is part of the reason why you couldn't it. duck out of this. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, great. Uh, thanks, Andrew, for joining us today. Uh, that was a really great uh, sequence. Cool. Thanks, thanks Andrew. A lot.